There is something so cool and immersive when you draw in VR. From Half-Life Alex to non-gaming app like Horizon Workspace, I've always loved messing around with these features. And today, I have the pleasure to show you how you can make it for your own VR game in Unity. So in this video, we are going to see how to set up a drawing canvas, make marker of different color, and even write on transparent surface. But that's not it. A second secret part of this video will be uploaded on my Patreon, where we will set up a mixed reality game on a surface and use this exact technique to paint on my desk. So if you'd like to learn how to do this yourself and get access to the source code of this project, you can join us on Patreon, link in the description below. But without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I'm inside a new Unity project. I'm using URP for this one, but this can work also for the standard pipeline as well. And before recording, I quickly made the VR setup with this XR rig and made this marker of different color grabbable. But of course, this wrong technique can work with any game Game, not just in VR. So the first thing that we are going to do is create a plane to write on. So I'm going to right click in the hierarchy, 3D object, plane, we can rename it draw canvas. So you can actually scale this plane as you want. In my case, I will scale it to 0.1 on all axes and then move it next to our table. Perfect. Next, I'm going to create a new camera as a child of this plane. We can right click on it, select camera and we can rename this camera draw camera and move it to face in the direction of the plane. Now we can remove its audio listener and finally let's set this camera from perspective to orthographic project. Now the next step is to create a render texture in the project folder so let's right click create render texture we can rename it draw canvas render texture and on this render texture we can set the resolution we want for the drawing so be careful here to not set it too low, otherwise the drawing will be pixelated or too high for optimization reasons. So in my case, I think I will set it to 2048 and 2048. Now, it is not worth it that if your draw canvas is not a square ratio, you need to set the resolution of the render texture accordingly. So for example, if the plane was two times bigger on the x-axis, we would need to write 2048 times 1024 or 4096 times 2048 here or anything else that has a 2 to 1 ratio. So in my case, I will keep everything simple and keep a square draw canvas and a 2048 resolution. Now that we have a render texture, we can simply drag it to the output texture of our draw camera. There, we can see that the camera has now the same ratio as the draw canvas, and now we are almost done with the camera setup. What's left is to use the projection size and the clipping plane here to make the camera fit the exact same shape as the plane. So for this, let's set the size to 0.5, and the near play to minus 0.04 and far to 0.01. There you go. And also make sure that the position of the draw camera is at 0, 0, 0. Just like this. Perfect. Now, as you can see, the zone that the camera will see is just a little bit in front of this canvas. And this is the whole point of this awesome technique right there. Now, using this orthographic camera, everything that touch the plane will be seen by the camera and then sent to the render texture. Now, maybe you are starting to see where I'm going. Now, if we create a new material by right clicking in the project, create material, call it draw canvas material we can assign it to our draw canvas plane and now use the render texture from earlier on this base map. Already, we can see some things that are happening. If I approach one of the marker, you can see that it now appear on the plane as well. So to sum up, when the marker enters the plane, it's seen by the camera and then send to the render texture that is used on the texture of the plane. Now we can make the color show exactly where the marker is by rotating here the camera 180 degrees. Okay, so now we can see a kind of projection on the plane, which is already super cool by the way. And this is a technique that you can use to quickly uh, create some quick shadow, for example. But now what we want to do is to keep the color on the canvas when we move the marker to create the drawing behavior. So for this, we simply need to go back to our orthographic camera and here on the background type, set it from skybox to uninitialize. Now, if we move the marker, well, it does not seem to do anything, but it is working. It's just because the camera is also seeing here the draw canvas material itself and overriding it on top of what we draw. So a fix to this problem is to create a new layer by clicking here on layer, add layer, add a marker layer and assign this new layer on all of our marker. 
And now in draw camera, we can go to cooling mask, first click on nothing, and then only set it to marker so that the camera will only see the marker and nothing else. And now the magic happens. If I try to move the marker on the canvas, it is working. We are now able to draw on the canvas. This is awesome. Okay, so at this point, we can draw on the canvas with this marker, but the good news is that this also works with any other marker of different color. Basically, the drawing just copy what the camera sees, so if we change the material of the marker, like here, set it to transparent and reduce its opacity, we can have a nice fading effect. This is pretty cool. Now, in my case, I will leave everybody to opaque. Now, you can, of course, experiment on your end with any marker that you want. You can use even some different texture for different brush, but it is important here to set the material to two-sided. This way, the color will still show even if the camera see inside of the marker. And also, if you feel like the camera is not precise enough or too precise, you can tweak the near and fair plane of the camera. Okay, so at this point, we still have one little issue, which is I can try to change the color of the draw canvas as much as I want, but nothing happens. And the reason is simple. It's because it used the background color of the orthographic camera. So to fix this, we are going to make a custom shader ourselves for the draw canvas and that we will be able to use to create some cool transparent surface. So let me show you. To create a custom shader with shader graph, let's right click in project, create shader, universal render pipeline, lit shader, we can call it Draw Canvas Shader. Now, if you are not familiar with Unity Shader Graph, don't worry, I will try to give you an idea of what is going on. So the idea of Custom Shader is to say our texture, color, lighting influence the look of our object. So in our case, we are going to need three parameters. A color for the color of the background of the canvas called color, a texture 2D called cam texture for what the camera will see. So basically where we will draw. And finally, a float value called alpha threshold, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. Now, my technique will be to find where the plane has drawing on it and where it has not. So to know this, we can drag our cam texture, give it as an input to the sample texture 2D node. Now, simply to know if there is paint on the texture or not, I'm going to create a new node called comparison and drag there the alpha of the texture and the alpha threshold parameter and select greater or equal. Next, we can add a branch node and drag there our comparison. So what we made here is compare if the texture has paint or not by looking at its alpha value. And if it's greater than a certain threshold, in this case, it means true and we want to use our sample texture. But if it is not, we can use the color parameter of the canvas. This way, it will be used as the background. Now, simply, we can drag this in the base color of our shader, save, go back to Unity, go back to our scene, and now assign this shader to the draw canvas. We can redrag the render texture in the cam texture over there, set the alpha threshold to 0.1, and there you go, already we can have a look at the result. Now using this shader, we have separated the drawing from the color and we can change the background as we want. But that's not it. We can use the same technique for the transparencies as well. So let's go back to our shader. In the graph setting, we can set the surface to transparent. And now we can use the alpha value of the color and the cam texture by adding a split node, drag there our result and connect it to the alpha parameter. But now if we save, as you can see, it works. I can change the alpha of the color and it will not change the alpha of the drawing. This makes this drawing looks really good on this plane, but this is not it. Because with what we made, we have also used the opacity of the marker itself. So if we reduce their alpha value, as you can see, we can draw with a certain opacity on the canvas and the opacity of where the marker is drawn is different from the background. This looks awesome. And using this exact same thing, we can actually make an eraser simply by setting the alpha to zero. And now as you can see with an alpha of zero, it erases and show the background instead. And there you go guys, from there, you can build upon this shader to create more realistic look for your game. For example, in my case, to create this cool realistic glass look, I've simply added a normal map on the draw canvas to create this kind of dirty window and set the color to something a bit bluish. And just like this, we get the same result as in Half-Life Alex. Now what's left is to grab the VR headset, take the marker and have some fun with this result. <laughs> <laughs>
And there it is, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, I think the result turned out so cool. Don't hesitate to leave a like and subscribe down below. And of course, to grab the source code on my Patreon if you'd like to support my work, this really means a lot. Don't forget that an exclusive content will be available soon on Patreon where we will use this exact technique on a real desk. So if you like to learn how to do this yourself, join us, link in the description below. And thank you for watching, see you soon, bye bye.